Hello everyone, I'm Ania for Fiber and today is an exciting shoot day because today I have not one, not two, but three new iPhones. So these right here, this is the iPhone 15 Plus in yellow. This is the iPhone 15 Pro in blue titanium. And of course, this is the big boy, the iPhone 15 Pro Max in natural titanium. I wish I had the standard iPhone 15 as well, but okay, let's not be greedy here. So in this video, I'll be unboxing these new iPhones and also sharing my first impressions with you guys. But of course, before we do that, share some love, like this video, share this video, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and also turn on the bell so that you don't miss any of our latest updates. With that said, let's get started. Okay, so let's unbox uh, all these iPhones one by one. First up, the iPhone 15 Plus, and uh, this is the most affordable iPhone out of the three iPhones that I have, although 90,000 is definitely not affordable. So let's go ahead. So the iPhone 15 Plus in yellow. Let's remove the pull tab first. Okay. Is there anything behind? No, nothing at all. But yeah, up front, uh, here it is. Uh, the iPhone 15 Plus in all its glory looks so cool, guys. Okay, first up, what else is there? Uh, there's a Type-C to Type-C cable. As you all know, Apple has shifted to the Type-C standard for iPhones. God bless the EU. And this is a nice braided Type-C to Type-C cable, so good stuff here. Apart from this, you are getting the usual SIM ejector tool. There's an instruction manual and a single Apple sticker. Okay, I will tell you all about the iPhone 15 Plus in a bit, but let's unbox the Pro iPhones also first. Okay, first up, uh, the iPhone 15 Pro. Let's remove the pull tabs again. Oh, I thought this color must be a close resemblance to the iPhone 12 Pro, the blue iPhone 12 Pro. But in fact, this is a darker shade and you know, I like it a lot. Okay, let's keep this aside. See what else is there. The usual stuff, the braided cable is there and the paperwork. Let's keep these aside and also unbox the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Here is the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Again, the same task. Let's remove the pull tabs. And let's take it out. I'm actually quite excited for this color. Probably my favorite color, although I haven't yet seen this one in person. My God, I love the iPhone 15 Pro Max in natural titanium. If I have the funds, I'm definitely going for this color. But okay, let's keep the phone aside for now. And we have the cable and the usual paperwork. That's about it. Let's keep these aside. So three new iPhones and let's take a closer look at them one by one. First up, the iPhone 15 Plus. Okay, so I have uh, the iPhone 15 Plus in yellow and you know, I was expecting uh, that uh, these shades would be pastel shades, but you know, I didn't expect them to be this muted. Although I like them, I like them a lot. I love the shade and finish. And this is by the way, color infused glass that Apple is talking about here. And it is not a gimmick. The glass is actually color infused. Let me explain. So up until last year, there was the iPhone 14 and how the shade worked was that uh, the shade was laid on a layer and then up top the transparent glass shade was laid and that's how you know the color of the iPhone 14 worked but this right here this is different in the case of the iPhone 15 the color is infused inside the glass and uh, the thicker the glass sheet like you can see in the camera deco the deeper the color and I also love the satin finish plus uh, subtle curves like really subtle curves guys adds up to a very good in hand feel Speaking of design, the front now sports the dynamic island. So one more step closer to the pro iPhones. I mean, in the display department, the standard and pros are so close. Uh, they are both OLED panels bright at up to 2000 nits and have all the bells and whistles of a top tier display. 
But, but, but. The only missing link between the Pro iPhones and uh, the normal standard iPhone is ProMotion. So the iPhone 15 Plus here gets a 60 Hertz display, but uh, don't get me wrong, the 60 Hertz on an iPhone does not ever feel all that jittery and slow like 60 Hertz feels on an Android smartphone. Let me explain. So yes, I can feel that slowness of 60 Hertz, but it is still very smooth, guys. And you know, most people out there actually target audience of the iPhone 15. I don't think most of them are also going to notice it. So yes. But in a nutshell, a same 6.7 inch screen size as last year. The bezels are definitely slimmer. The screen is much brighter. I love the addition of the dynamic island. On the inside, there's the A16 Bionic chipset, which is a year old chipset, but it is still crazy stupid fast. At the helm is iOS 17. There's of course USB Type-C charging and the port supports so USB 2 speeds. The camera has received an upgrade. So a new 48 megapixel main camera that also doubles up as a 2X telephoto lens. Then you are also getting a 12 megapixel ultra wide sensor and there's your 12 megapixel front camera. So this is the iPhone 15 Plus in a nutshell for you. Of course, we'll be doing an in-depth review covering the overall performance of the device, the camera performance and all the likes. So of course, if you haven't subscribed yet, then definitely do it. Okay, now it is time for the Pro iPhone. So two sizes we have here, 6.1 inches and 6.7 inches. And before we go ahead, let me tell you that there are literally only three differences between the Pro and the Pro Max. First being the difference in size and because of the bigger size, the second difference is that the Pro Max gets a bigger battery. And the third, the 15 Pro Max gets a 5x zoom telephoto camera versus a 3x on the 15 Pro. And of course, there's the price. The 15 Pro starts at 1,34,900 rupees while the 15 Pro Max starts at a sole selling 1,59,900 rupees. By the way, for uh, the more money that you're putting in the iPhone 15 Pro Max, uh, this one actually starts at 256 GB storage versus 128 GB on the 15 Pro. But okay, there's a lot of talk about the prices right now. I don't want to talk about the prices. Let me admire the beauty that is the iPhone 15 Pro. So unlike the standard iPhone 15, the iPhone 15 Pro series gets even bigger upgrades. First up, the use of titanium. On the inside, there's aluminium and on top of it, the frame has grade 5 titanium surround. The result is that the iPhone 15 Pro series is quite sturdy than before and also at the same time, they're also lighter than the predecessor, the iPhone 14 Pro series. So quite a welcome change. The Pro models also get the action button. So gone is the mute ringer switch and now with this action button, you can customize it to different available functions. You can use it to start a timer, fire the torch, or even launch a Siri shortcut. Very handy. The display, of course, is also 2000 nits, just like the standard iPhone 15, but the cherry on cake has to be the Pro Motion technology. It is super smooth, it is super responsive, and you know, the bezels are also sim very slim and they are also symmetrical. So, love the displays on the iPhone 15 Pro series. Looks quite modern. Apart from this, there's the A17 Pro chipset under the hood. Uh, 3 nanometer processor that is and this brings huge GPU gains even in comparison to the A16 Bionic chipset. Now some AAA titles like Resident Evil, a rework of the Resident Evil series and the Assassin's Creed games, those are in the works for the 15 Pro models and I can't waste to test them out. But okay, let's move on and talk about the cameras. So Pro phones and they're getting Pro cameras. So at the rear, there's a 48 megapixel primary camera with a second generation sensor shift OIS, a 12 megapixel ultra wide angle lens, and a 12 megapixel selfie snapper on both 15 Pro and the 15 Pro Max. Both phones also get 12 megapixel telephoto lenses. The 15 Pro gets a 77 mm lens with a 3x optical zoom, while the 15 Pro Max gets a 120 millimeter lens with 5x optical zoom capabilities. You know, you can also toggle between three focal lenses with the main 48 megapixel camera. And again, I can't wait to take a lot of photos and videos with these new iPhones. Of course, I will talk all about the camera performance, the overall performance in the full review of the iPhone 15 Pro model. So if you don't want to miss out the reviews, as I said earlier as well, subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, do it now, 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 now.
And that's about it for the new iPhones, guys. So which out of the three colors uh, did you like the most? Or on a whole, which color of the new iPhone 15 series do you like the most? Let me know everything in the comments below. And as always, for all the latest in tech, stay tuned to Fiverr. I'll catch you all in the next one. Thank you for watching. Thank you.